The Argentine government paid tribute to the victims of the violent state repression of December 19th and 20th, 2001, which resulted in the death of 39 people. We have more details in the following report by our correspondent, Carolina Silvestri. During the ceremony held at the Casa Rosada, President Alberto Fernandez made it clear the state is there to guarantee rights, not to repress protests. When the people came to this square, which is a story square where people usually come to spread themselves, they were met with horses, with gendarmes, with rubber bullets and lead bullets that took the lives of many Argentine men and women, here and in many parts of the country. We Argentines were in a really bad situation, and we marched to complain, and many of those who went out to compel lost their lives that day because of the brutality of the state, because of the brutality of the state to provide an answer, and because of something that must be banished once and for all, which is what we call institutional violence. With the reparation law for the victims, families and other measures, the national government is taking responsibilities for the first time. Justice in this case to 20 years and it was minimal because none of those convicts were sentenced for the murders committed. Those convicts were charged with felonies, or would they say minor offenses. It took 20 years because those who had to design the verdict knew that this square was going to be full of people demanding justice and they want to silence those voices. The president was accompanied by the families of the victims of December 19th and 20 in 2001, human rights organizations and officials of his administration. Many police officers, members of the security forces, who were not identified, were not investigated. And unfortunately, there was a cover-up by those entrenched parties that would not carry out a witch hunt and the incidents, both on the 19th and the 20th became one of the greatest acts of institutional violence in our democracy. According to the Secretary for Human Rights of Argentina, Horatio Piedregala, there was a systematic plan to impose a neoliberalism through blood and fire. Unfortunately, our democracy was not strong enough to condemn crimes against humanity and we understand this as being caused by a very strong link with impunity that still prevails. And we have talked about this with many of the relatives, of how many members of these forces that act in the repression have been fundamental actors during the dictatorship, and that due to the lack of justice in our country, we unfortunately had to endure the cost of having this individual crossing path with citizens who were protesting for a different country that was already overwhelmed with problems. A commemorative plaque to be placed against the railings of the Casa Rosada in front of the Plaza de Mayo bears the names and surnames of the 39 victims who lost their lives during the days of the protest. Carolina Silvestre, Telesur, Buenos Aires.